Hi guys, this is part two of the racing bike build. My son Solo. So, in this one, I'm going to fit the rear derailleur, the gear shifter, and when I can find it, the gear cable. So, let's start with the derailleur. It's not perfectly clean, but it's clean enough. And I forgot to do a one thing. Lubricate in there because this bracket is a little bit stiff, it should be moving a bit better than that. I think what I'll do, I'll get it attached to the bike, and uh, that'll actually make life a bit easier. So I'm just going to find myself a wrench, and that should be. If it's metric, 9mm. If it's imperial, I'm a bit stuffed because I haven't got any imperial wrenches up here. <laughs> uh, let's have a look, shall we? That's a 10. No nuts. Wrong one, no nuts. It's metric. Now, to fit one of these, you've got this little bracket here. This slides up into the wheel dropout, and you've got to make sure this lines up with the slot that's on the frame, or the dropout that's on the frame. So, just turn that there. All you've got to do basically slide that in like that make sure that all lines up and button it down and that it's as simple as that me not making sure it's lined up myself you know? <laughs> there we go I'll just give that a wiggle there. might be a bit stiff I may end up having to change that what I'm actually going to do now I'm just going to turn the frame round oh, this frame stuck to put on weight again it was quite light <laughs> now I'm bolting everything on it's uh, putting on the weight Right, let's climb that back down. Now, the next item is the shifter. And what I've got to do, because I'm explaining what I've got to do, because it's a bit hard. I'll take the camera over in a minute just to show you. Right, take the bolt out. You gotta take the bolt out. Eventually. Right. This little bracket you've got to splay open. About that far should do it. Far enough so you can get it over the frame. Or over the frame tube. And that just Slot over like that, squeeze it back up, refit the bolt. Make sure you get it all lined up. Like so. Now, I think. That's an 8mm. I'm trying to put this back in its original position so it hides the um, previous markings. Now for this I'm going to use an open-ended 8mm spanner. And crank this up. It doesn't have to be 
super duper tight, just tight enough so the lever itself doesn't move on the frame. Just like that. And that should. Yep. So before I carry on. Before I carry on, I untangle the chair from the power cable. Alright. Um, as you can see, it just goes around the frame like that. As I said, you just open up the clamp, push it over, squeeze it shut, and uh, pop your bolt through. And that's just how the back dragger goes on. Like I said, you just got to line up this slot, and that looks like it has dropped a little bit, but that shouldn't, from the look of it, it shouldn't affect the wheel being put in. Now, the last job I'm going to do for this part I'll get the camera set back down we need to sort out the cable and over here I've got the original so I'm going to reuse it it's perfectly long enough Somewhere in here as well, I have got a length of um, outer, I'm not going to need a very long outer. This just slides into the hole up here. I'm going to move the lever around, pull the cable all the way through. Little nipple on the end should go in the recess on the lever. Let me thread this through the second hole. Like so, pull that through, and that's the cable fit to the lever. Ooh. Right. Now, on this frame, there's like a little metal guide right here on top of the bottom bracket. Some vintage road bikes will have a bolt on one around this part of the tube. This one's actually permanently fixed to the frame. And this cable has just got to thread through just like that. And uh, the last bit on the frame it's got to be threaded through is a little um, lug right on the back here just like that so I saw my wire cutters somewhere and where did I see them <laughs> here they are I've got my wire cutters now I need to find a bit of outer I've got a box of bits here. I did actually find some rolled up somewhere. Uh, I might see them. I was around this area when I found it. Aha! I found it. And it's black! It'll match the bike. Right, so I'm just going to unravel this. I am going to snip. That end off is a bit here. And I need to just give it a rough measurement at the minute. I want a little bit of slack, not too much. Something like that should be not even in view, are you? Hang on. Something like that should be okay. So about that long on this one. It'll vary on different bikes as well, so it's always a good idea to measure. I've done with the lead cutters. I'm do that. I've got my length cut. Might even be able to use that for um, one 
for the brakes as well. Ooh. There's actually um, some kinks in this cable. I'm just going to try and bend the kinks out. There. Right. Thread this outer over here. Like so. That goes in there. For this. Goes in there. there. Bob's your uncle. All I've now got to do when I'm ready is attach the gear cable to the drayer. When it's fitted. Mind you, there's no reason why I couldn't do that now, to be honest. I'm trying to step over a box that's below my feet. Or by my feet, not below my feet. How can it be below my feet? Right, I'm going to pull them out as tight as I can. Because there's no cable adjusters on one of these drainers or the levers. So now, in theory, that dryer should move. Still a bit far too much slack. So, what I'm going to do, grab hold of the cable with a pair of pliers, not right on the end because I don't want to smush it. Pull that through with the pliers. And why is it span is always a pain in the fucking ass when you're trying to do this? Right. There we go. Right. So now, in theory. Yep, we're moving. Yep. This is the sort of bike I'd use a stainless steel cable on because so much of it is uh, open to the elements. I'll just uh, show you what I mean. You know, on a mountain bike, more of this out, more of this cable is covered by an outer cable like this. With this one, most of it is uh, exposed to the elements. It's only this little piece here that goes between the frame and the dralia mechanism itself that's um, covered. And that should. Uh, I still think that's a bit stiff, but with some oil and some WD-40 and a bit of a workout, that should free off. I hope. Anyway, that is it for part two. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have tried these reflectors as well. And I may have to swap these for ones which have a slightly longer reach. I don't know. I'm going to try these ones. We'll have to see. Um, but anyway, that is it for part two. So, thanks for watching. And, uh... Part 3 will be coming up as soon as possible. Bye.